What's up? So one of the things I did recently is um, I've been trying to be healthier, training and eating well and whatever, and I have a Fitbit. Call me hipster, whatever. But I have a hip Fitbit. So the Fitbit actually on the website lets you export a month at a time um, of all of your health data. So like what I got was this CSV and I removed some stuff that I didn't care about. Um, but I have some of this data here and I organized it in the way I wanted it to. Um, at the time I only had like half a month or so, a couple, less than two weeks uh, of data. And um, what I did with it is I, you know, being the nerd I am, I uh, tossed it into R and uh, yeah, let's see what I did. So I just got some libraries, got the pipe, got the plots, got the reader, got the patchwork, read the data in, whatever. Um, let's make some plots. Okay, those are generated. And then I'll make my final plot. And then with patchwork, that simple plot patchwork project, all I need to do is type this, you know, syntax, like if each of these plots, p objects, was uh, an object, what might you infer that this does? So this is one thing I thought was really cool about the patchwork package in R is, in parentheses, you do that first. Um, with a pipe character in this uh, idea, like we're just separating it down the middle. So you separate it within the parentheses, do this first, separate these two objects side by side. Okay, and then it, that parentheses object, divide it, so this is something that's underneath it, like division, have the third chart. So it might, if you have a square, like a, a grid of two by two, on the top you might have chart and chart, and on the bottom, one longer chart that fills up both spots of the grid. Um, let's see what that looks like. So final plot, and patchwork works. So we have plot, plot, and then larger plot. So this is just like some basic data based on um, the health stuff I had. Now this looks really ugly right now because of the sizing and I didn't group the legends. And some of this is just wonky. But yeah, you know, just playing around with ggplot and uh, patchwork. So this is actually right after I found out what patchwork did um, when I saw it in a newsletter. So I tried applying patchwork and yeah. I really like it. You can group visuals this way. I started using it at work too. It's really cool. But also in RStudio, you can run other languages like JavaScript, CSS, other stats languages, Bash, Python, whatever. It's like Python and Bash. Like I have that um, music discovery markdown document of like artists I want to go look up. If I run this, you know, I'm in a current. I'm currently I'm in um, my research directory with this file. But if I go list all the files, you know, two directories above. And then pipe those that listing into grep and look for all things music. And ah, there it is. So uh, I also have some Python in here. I was testing Python in this um, because I, I was testing out Jupyter Notebooks and I got that to work and it was cool. But I'm kind of thinking I'm, my, at work we're moving toward, more towards R instead of Python for our data science related stuff. So uh, R. Um, and I'd really prefer R Studio for R than Jupyter Notebooks. Um, for obvious reasons, R Studio is built geared specifically for R, and um, I just really like it. I'm also very used to it at this point. But yeah, so I was just playing with some, you know, Fitbit data, uh, produce a HTML document. Um, is this even going to work right now? Okay, yeah, it's running. Bleh. Let's see what I get. I don't think I've actually made this yet. Do 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 do. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Na, 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 na. Yep. I, I like doing the, the HTML formats. But, um, oh, let's see. Um, I was doing this before. Mm -mm -mm. See what this does. I think this is the theme I had at work. I kind of preferred this. And with syntax highlighting as Zenburn, it was a good look on my HTML documents. Yes, yes it was, darkly. Yep. Um, I think it was just highlighting. Do, do, do. I love making HTML documents with RStudio. 
because it takes markdown and HTML tags, which is all basically HTML fundamentally. It produces an HTML document, so you can have JavaScript, CSS. Um, you can even have C++ programs running from R for the computational power and speed. Um, I am just loving R at this point. I'm totally like fangirling over it. But Zenburn syntax highlighting, my charts, yeah. Have all your analyses and all that stuff in there, charts and everything, yeah. I think it's really cool. Especially if you can get something set up where it has like an automated ex automatic export, or actually what I did is I set this, I set up RStudio with um, a connection to my Works Enterprise Data Warehouse, so we can just run SQL queries directly from uh, RStudio, input that query result into a data frame, and then have that data frame operated on with dplyr, um, have make charts out of it, uh, pipe things into other things, you know, whatever. Um, when you can get that sort of like pipeline of information going and you can produce reports like these HTML documents or R Markdown documents, you're kind of looking at, you know, data science powerhouse. Like your operations and your business analytics are going to be good. Uh, really liking R a lot lately. I was looking at uh, Rust and Python and C. I was watching a lot of tutorials, writing basic programs like... Um, uh, I'm not even sure what I have left over from that, but I really liked a lot of the stuff, the lower level stuff uh, from C and Rust and... Did I type it wrong? Hmm, maybe I did. Um, Oh, my website's open right now, so let's close that file. Um, I really liked Rust. And I also liked the, a lot of the community of Rust, the startup feel of it, the mentality of everything needs to be remade in Rust. You need to make all these basic things, all these packages, all these libraries. Everything needs to be recreated so that it supports it in this language, but also it interfaces well with C. Um, and C was pretty cool. You know, I did only basic stuff. Um, let's see, C, Clang. Um, you know, I only did like a basic tutorial dealing with different like, um, you know, for loops, data structures, a little bit of arrays, made a calculator app, um, guessing game, Mad Libs, you know, the typical like beginner program stuff they have you do. Um, I thought it was pretty cool. It was all right. Um, nothing complex. And I've heard about the horrors of C and C++. Um, and memory safety and whatnot, and just Rust seems really cool. Um, a lot of the concepts and the newness of Rust seems very appealing, and with all of the data leaks going on nowadays, uh, secure programming like this, it's it's going to be a big thing. Um, so this could be the, like the next big boom in language, especially with Wasm for uh, web development and using this for basically everything um, who knows where all that's gonna go because JavaScript is still like the total king of web but I actually really liked um, a lot of the rust stuff so I'm hoping that one day I can get to a point where I actually have a reason and a use case to write something in rust and I can get into this but for now based on what I'm currently learning for my job um, I'm mostly focused on R SQL, T SQL, the web stack, and a proprietary version of SQL for uh, the medical software we work with. Um, but yeah, I, I did um, I did like C and Rust at least just like typing out basic stuff like this and like the nitty gritty control stuff. Yeah, it's more verbose. You have to type a lot. I like typing, so whatever. Um, but I can see how it, it, when you get large, large, large programs, you're going to get errors and things. But the Rust compiler is really friendly, and apparently the C compiler is not. I don't know. I'm not very well versed enough in the languages to have a well formed opinion. But um, of like my C stuff, I actually have uh, my own Jupyter notebook um, for all this. But I, I figured out logging. Logging in Python, I actually really like the logging in Python. I thought that was cool. Um, I was writing some other programs. Um, and I did like Python 2 just because of like how readable it is, somewhat simple it is. Um, 
yeah, it, it was actually it was pretty cool. I did actually enjoy um, Python as well. I enjoyed all three. But as with all things, I don't really have a specific use case to do something, so I'm not really motivated to really dive into it. Whereas with R, I can do crap with R. Um, I can look at my Fitbit data. I can look at my data at work. Um, data science is kind of, I'm an analyst, research data analyst too. So, I mean, that's kind of where we are. Data science, even if it's not like super academic right now. Um, so R is kind of like where we're going at the moment. So. Yeah, I like all these languages. I just need use cases and reasons to build stuff out of it, and I'm not really great at coming up with ideas sometimes. Maybe I'll get there one day. Um, I hope. But for now, I'm kind of really digging deep into R. But I think I've blathered on long enough. Yeah, Fitbit data, charts, cool beans.